Tanya Steele, Editor-in-Chief of Epicurious.com, and you're watching Around the World in 80 Dishes. Today we're exploring the cuisine of Italy, and we're heading to Venice, one of my favorite places in the world. Where my grandparents, grandparents are from. Where your grandparents are from. This is Chef Joe de Perry from the Culinary Institute of America. And one of the things that they make there all the time is seafood, because obviously it's a water-based area. Mm -hmm. And that is why we're making fritto misto. Fritto misto, frutti di mare. There's all kinds of fritto mistos, which is a fried mixtures or fried medleys. But the one that is most popular in that Venice area is fritto misto, frutti di mare. Fruits of the sea. Fruits of the sea. And that's what you've got. You've got some fruits of the sea right there. We have some squid. So I have squid rings and tentacles. We have some shrimp that have been butterflied. And when you butterfly, it's simply getting a knife, cutting it down the middle, right. and removing the vein. That's right. Okay. I scraped off the legs, peeled off the shell, took my knife and split down the back, opened it up, and then if the intestinal tract was there, I just cleaned it out. So we have some ski scallops, and we have some smelts. Love the smelts. They look beautiful. It's just, I can't get over how gorgeous they are. Yeah. They love these small fish and they're really, really good when they're fried. So, And all of these things are found around the, the Venetian waters. The, the Adriatic, at, yes. Throughout the, mm -hmm. yeah. So how do we do this? Okay, so here's what we got. We have some flour in the bowl right now. Just regular this all is purpose just flour? This is just AP or? flour. Okay. And so we'll just take some of our goodies mm -hmm. here. This is actually, I think... Kids would love to do this. Oh, Look, you're how kidding? cool is this? Do you do this with your daughter? Do I do. you throw octopus at her and say, Here, <laughs> drink some say, of this? Oh for my me. god, are you, are you kidding me? And so we want to mix that up real good. Add a little salt. We're going to okay. throw in a little bit of salt. I know it comes from the sea, but a little bit of salt and a little pepper doesn't hurt. This is fun. And so once we have it all mixed, then mm -hmm. we can throw it into the... Um, okay, and so you try to get rid of the excess flour. We want to get flour. rid of that excess flour, okay. exactly. Should we do the big ones first? Yeah. Just, okay, let me see if I can find one more guy. I think that's it. There we go. So you Notice how I put them in so that I let it drop. Slowly. And it drops away from me. This okay. way here, I never splash myself with the fat. See that? That's very smart. I always let it fall away. Okay. okay. So we do the scallops? The yep. Mix? Okay. Go ahead. You can just pick up everything and just oh, put really? it into the screen okay. and I'll shake it here and we'll drop it into the fat. Okay. So now, a lot of people are going to ask what type of sauce do you typically serve with this type of stuff? Funny, and I was going to ask that too. What kind of sauce do you serve with it, Chef? Mostly lemon, believe it or not. There's not very much sauce that actually goes with fried fish. And typically the thing that's most common is lemon juice. So just a squeeze of lemon. That's it. But if you wanted to get a little bit more fancy, tartar sauce? Tartar sauce, okay. yes. really fast. It cooks extremely, extremely fast. The nice thing about this, the faster you cook it, the better it is because then your proteins don't have time to dehydrate and toughen. I think that's why a lot of people will say, oh, well, you know, you cooked that squid and it was tough. It was because it's been dried out. That's just overcooked, exactly. So that was in for about 30 seconds or something. I mean, well, that was... When, when, when the fat is nice and hot, you can see how very quickly, and you see the color. It's still light in color. It's not dark, dark. And that's another sign of a nice fried item.